Today, I'm comparing claw grip versus paddles. We're gonna decide which is better and why. The main issue with the standard controller is the inability to press face buttons without removing your thumbs from the analog sticks. This puts you at a massive disadvantage, having to remove your thumbs to press face buttons to jump or get your pickaxe, switch max, etc. This temporarily paralyzes the player's ability to aim. Claw grip and paddles have been invented and rising in popularity to combat that issue. The question is, which is more effective? Drop a like if this video is helpful and subscribe for more. We are so close to 20k. We'll start off with paddles. I personally am a controller paddles user. I've been using this two paddle attachment called the strike pack for about two and a half years. I initially started using paddles because I knew I could get better than standard grip by using them and at the time I did not know about the alternatives like claw grip. The advantages of using paddles over claw is the natural feeling, the control, and the upgrade ability. Overall, using paddles feels a lot more natural than claw. If you've always been used to a normal controller grip, then you'll find switching to paddles to be a fairly easygoing process. It still takes a lot of practice to build muscle memory, but with a normal controller grip, your fingers will rest on the paddles anyway, so it feels comfortable and natural. Because of this, I feel I have more control when using paddles versus when I'm playing claw. You can have a tighter controller grip and there's no accidental button presses or analog movements. The upgradability factor comes into paddles because right now, as far as I know, you can either get two paddles or four paddles. So you have the ability to map four different face buttons to back paddles. I tried a four paddle attachment and had some pretty cool binds. I was able to jump, edit, pull up my pickaxe, and have a combined reset confirm button all bound to my paddles. So nearly everything that I needed to do in game, I could do without removing my thumbs from the analog sticks. Now for claw. I've only ever tried to learn claw one time, but this is what I know about it. The advantages of using claw is the controller selection, price, and customization. Controller selection might not sound like a big deal, but it's actually super important, especially among pro players. Controllers such as scuffs, Xbox Elites, Astro C40, and more. All of these controllers, which are popular because they have paddles, are often criticized for their fragility. Between button sticking, analog sticks breaking, and overall controller performance deteriorating, these multi hundred dollar controllers are not very reliable. By playing Claw, you're literally able to use any controller. The standard durable Xbox or PS4 and PS5 controllers can all be used by Claw players, and they are a fraction of the cost of the popular paddle controller options. However, there are still cost effective paddle options. So, with this being said, if you do not have extra money to drop on paddles, the same can be accomplished on the standard controller you already use right now by using claw. Customization plays in because there's so much you can do with claw. You can play single claw, double claw, octopus claw, and more like these other weird claw grips. With these grips, you can press every single controller button without removing your thumbs from the analog sticks. The big concern about claw is the damage it can cause to your fingers and hands. These comments came from esportshealthcare.com. This site states that first of all, claw players using the PS4 controller will experience significantly more issues than those on Xbox controllers. It says that the mechanics of the claw grip for controller requires significantly greater activation of the FDI muscle compared to the other muscles listed, making it the unquestionable leading cause of fatigue, discomfort, pain, and dysfunction using this technique. One pretty notable player that uses claw grip is Faye Sway. He's obviously known as a very good controller player, and his fingers look like this. Now, I don't think that's due to claw grip, but that's definitely probably the reason why he's so good at claw grip. And Faye Sway has not been known to have any hand or finger issues as a result of claw grip. The same cannot be said for others. Ex-pro Fortnite claw players Issa and X discuss their hand pains on Twitter. Issa stating that the cause is partially due to claw. It's been said that with proper hand stretches and care, claw is not damaging 
So I guess you can take that information as it is and you can decide whether you're willing to take that risk and play Claw or you'd rather learn Paddles. In conclusion, both Paddles and Claw have their own advantages. There are far more professional Claw players compared to Paddle players, so maybe that means something. But for now, I will be sticking with my Paddles as I have spent years practicing on them and getting good with them. I believe either option is effective with enough practice, you just have to commit to learning it and build the muscle memory. So drop a like if you made it to the end and thank you guys for watching. I hope to catch you in a future video.